coverage turns now to local 10's Terrell Fournay. He's live at Jackson Memorial Hospital where that officer is being treated right now. Terrell. And a pretty strong police presence here at the Ryder Trauma Center at Jackson right now. The street actually leading up to the hospital is shut down to allow fellow officers the space as they continue to arrive to check on their law enforcement brother. But let's get to this video we shot just a short time ago outside of the Ryder Trauma Center at Jackson. A number of Miami-Dade police cruisers parked outside of the hospital, officers in uniform and even in plain clothes have been spotted walking up, some of them visibly shaken as they head towards the emergency room. We know the injured officer is a canine narcotics detective who was on duty at the time in his patrol car with his canine when this crash happened. He is described as a 17 year veteran of the Miami-Dade Police Force. I'd like to give a special thanks to the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue responding officers and our JMH Rider doctors who provided immediate care to our officer. He's a uh, critical but stable condition right now. He's resting with his family and his law enforcement family. And, uh, you know, we're just very thankful right now. His dog is okay as well. He, he was transported to uh, Knowles, minor injuries. His name is Fox and he's gonna be okay, thank goodness. So that was the head of the Miami-Dade Police Department giving that update literally just a few moments ago, saying that it's not an easy call to get about this crash that happened in the northbound lanes of the Florida Turnpike at Southwest 216th Street, a crash that has caused tremendous delays in that area. We know that a second vehicle was involved, but no one in that other car was injured. The circumstances leading up to this crash still being investigated right now. Uh, the police department here, they are not ready to say exactly how this crash happened, but you heard it, that officer in critical but stable condition, that canine also being checked out at a vet's office uh, with some minor injuries. But we do understand that that officer's family is here in the emergency room by the side of that uh, officer, that injured officer who has not yet been identified. We are live from Miami tonight. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.